So this next part will probably be a little bit confusing, but just do your best to stay with me. And then as we go through this training, uh, it will make more sense. So um, because there are two kinds of teachers, both you, native teacher, and a bilingual teacher, a Korean teacher, um, we have to share a schedule. And in order to read that schedule, you need to understand the difference between a type A class versus a type B class. So a type A class refers to a class that is first taught by a bilingual teacher or a Korean teacher. Um, you can also think about it um, if, uh, if the bilingual teacher or Korean teacher teaches the reading part of the textbook, then that class will be considered type A. Type B then refers to when you, native teacher, first teach the class for the day. Um, or you could think about it if you, native teacher, taught the students the reading passage for the day, then that class is going to be considered um, type B. The reason why we just went over the difference between type A versus type B is because when we look at the program guides, you'll notice that they are labeled type A or type B. And in order to use this effectively, you need to know what your class is labeled. So all the information that we've gone over thus far is actually included in the program guides. Um, so you actually need to know all that information to use it effectively. So when looking at a program guide, you'll first see the frequency. So how often does a student come to the uh, school? So if they have a three-day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, then you'll use a three-day program guide. Um, if they come two days a week, then there's a different program guide for that. You'll also see the class type. So if your class is labeled type B, then you'll refer to the program guide that says type B and vice versa otherwise. You'll also see that the uh, teacher is labeled. So you can double check if you're teaching the right components. Um, and you can see here native teacher, that's gonna be you. And then these parts are taught by the bilingual teacher. And finally, you can know what daily components. So um, here you can see that you would be teaching for this class reading and also the creative thinking project. And in the next few slides, we'll get into uh, understanding how to actually know um, how to utilize this.